Dr. Lucia Heras. Uh, I'm the chairman of the Hanyo Nieti Burjil Hospital for Advanced Surgery. Seen a lot of complicated cases here. We are the referral uh, center of all the GCC and we have a lot of um, all injuries and complicated cases, more than, than basic uh, simple cases in here. It's always difficult when you come to see a surgeon you know, and um, approach the situation and you have to go for surgery. And the main thing you need is to make sure that you really want the operation and every doubt you have is, um, is uh, explained completely. You need to understand the mechanism of the hand to be able to recover from the operation. And the more you understand, the sooner you will recover. We have a lot of sport patients coming back uh, to the uh, sports that they were uh, doing before the injury without problem. We have photograph signals they sent to us with all doing all these uh, sports. And um, in the same, we have catastrophic hands in kids than, than they are happy later on when they come back today. Came in the clinic a little girl than I know since she was uh, four years of age. She had a terrible injury in the hand, not treated well in this country, which make a bone disappear in one of the fingers even. And um, I've been treating for years and she's back normal. She's now 11, full recovered and very happy. This is a normal kind of patient. We have patient that comes on and off, like a friends to discuss problems. My advice in, in looking after the hands is first of all, prevent the injuries. That's the main thing. Uh, people tend to do a sport without training their hands. The same time that they're doing all of them, they are aware that they have to do stretching of the legs before and after do the sport. None of them do a stretching of the arms and the wrist, and it should be done to prevent tendinitis and, and damaging the wrist. Train the wrist. If you're going to do lifting weight, you first have to have a strong wrist to support the lift, and they don't do it. So they tend to forget it, this. And another problem uh, we face a lot with hands is the repetitive movement. That moving movement with the with the mobiles, computers, all these are terrible. We need to prevent it. We need to stop it. And people has to stop doing it continuously. No more than than forty five minutes, it, it will be a, a doing the same any moment. In forty five minutes, you have to break, do some stretching, relax, do something else, but uh, stop the the continuous movement because it will produce a lot of complications in the hands.